Hey guys, and welcome to this Glim Tips video. Today, we're going to be showing you how to set up recording and the replay buffer in Streamlabs for recording clips and videos on Glimash. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to go to settings, which is in the bottom left corner, go into general, scroll down a little bit until you see the output box. What you want to get ticked, first of all, for the replay buffer is automatically start replay buffer when streaming. This will make sure that when you press your go live button to start streaming, uh, it will start the replay buffer as well automatically. I keep this on because mostly I forget to turn it on if I have to do it manually. And there is no worse feeling when you've done something really good and you wanted to record it and you haven't got your replay buffer turned on. It is the worst. So make sure that that is ticked. If you are wanting to record all your stream as well, instead of just clips, you'll want to tick the automatically record when streaming box as well. I don't have this because I don't record all my streams. I just use the replay buffer. But if you want the whole video, tick this one as well. Next, you'll go to output. You'll set the output mode to advanced and then you'll see all these settings. If you don't have this checked, uh, you won't see everything that you need. So advanced and then you go to recording and you go to recording path. Set this as a file that you want your recordings and clips to be saved to um, and that's where they'll it can be any file path on your computer. Um, I have mine set to my external drive, but it can be wherever you need it to be. I try and keep the settings under recording uh, same as my stream settings, so there's no drop off in quality. It does default to quite low, um, so I generally do increase it. The next setting under section is the replay buffer. Then you'll need to click the box that says enable replay buffer. Then the max maximum replay time uh, is how long your clip will be. Um, I usually have mine at around 30 seconds um, to make sure I get everything, every part of what I want to clip. Just keep in mind the longer you have this, the more pressure it will put on your computer as it's having to store more and more video um, the longer you increase this time for. So if you are on a lower end machine, um, this will put more strain on it when you are streaming. Once you've done that, simply go to hotkeys and then under save replay button in hotkeys, you want to save this as something that you want your button to press when you want to save a clip. Um, you can have this as anything on your keyboard. Um, you can set this up if you have a stream deck. You can use it with the stream deck. Um, but it will just be the, the button that you press for to save the replay. Once you've done all that, you click done. And that's all you need to do. So that's all set up for you. And you're ready to record your streams and save clips on Glamash. Thanks guys. Take care everyone.